I think it's safe to say that the booster course pass is doing pretty good as of late. It may have launched as a mess, but Waves 2 and 3 showcases how great it can stand, even if it isn't comparable to the base tracks. With that said, we're pretty much at the halfway mark, as we only have 3 more waves left before the end of the year. Amongst this realization stands one obvious exclusion. Not a single Bowser's Castle course has appeared in the Booster Course Pass. In all seriousness, as much as I would love to see a GameCube track make its debut, my mind hasn't been taken off of the subject of Bowser's Castle. It's not because I've been slowly growing bored with one version we've had for essentially 8 years, I've always felt like at least one Bowser's Castle course would appear in the Booster Course Pass at some point. But the question is, which one? There's a lot of factors to take it when discussing this question, and I'm going to organize them based on the likelihood that they could appear, or at the least, plausible. So with that said, let's get right into the video and discuss which Bowser's Castle course should appear in the Booster Course Pass. Quick disclaimer, this video will cover the data information that Mark Cardi Deluxe had with his prefix leak, as well as a small bit of Mark tour. If you wish to not be spoiled at this time, I advise you to click off the video. Otherwise, continue forward. Before we go further, let's just quickly address the two versions that definitely won't be in the Booster Course Pass. That way, I don't have to waste as much time with these having their own dedicated section. I don't think we'll be seeing N64 or 3DS Bowser's Castle in the Booster Course Pass at all, and that's largely part due to the fact that the data mines don't seem to have any more past Wave 2 and 3. For the former, it's really disappointing as N64 Bowser's Castle is one of the more unique yet ominous tracks in the Mario Kart franchise, what with the empty, almost dead atmosphere and the dangerous hazard it holds. I'm not too saddened by the 3DS Bowser's Castle though. I don't know, this track never spoke to me, as I find it both frustrating to race on and its odd and forgettable nature. And even though it's a marker tour, there's obviously way better courses to pick from like Rainbow Road. But now that we got those out of the way, let's finally jump into the discussion, starting with... Oh Super Mario Kart, your blandness never fails to amuse me. This game only has three Bowser Castle tracks to choose from, and even though it's a hefty number from a glance, the truth of the matter is, none of them are really great. Well, maybe except one, but I'll get to it. The issue with the SNES Bowser Castle tracks is how bland and flawed the track design is. Bowser Castle 1 is literally 5 straight lines with a few jumps in the middle, Bowser Castle 2 not only has an obnoxious layout to traverse, but it also has a troll path that leads to nothing. And Bowser Castle 3 is consistent, but it's still not that remarkable, especially with those hallways. With how I described and the fact that Nintendo seemingly likes to forget they even existed, it seems like none of them will ever get a spot in. But the thing is, they might. You see, according to the prefix leak, there was slated to be one more SNES track down the line, and one of the most common courses that gets suggested is none other than Vanilla Lake. The reason why is pretty simple, as Vanilla Lake was one of the advertisements plastered onto Coconut Mall. It seems like a strong piece of evidence, but some people pointed out that the poser was in tour as well, further exemplifying the fact that the track is just a port. So even though Vanilla Lake is a strong possibility, it might also not even be in the Booster Course Pass, and if it is in the course, my next bet would be one of the Bowser Castle tracks, two specifically. Sure, it's not a good track by any means, but I find the track to be a balance of being okay to drive on and not frustrating to the point where I'd quit out of the game. Plus, it could really benefit better changes like turning the troll path into a shortcut blocked by cutouts. Regardless of what version gets picked, it'll end up pretty high on the list since the definitive SNES track isn't as conclusive. But if neither Vanilla Lake or Bowser Castle gets in, then can we have Koopa Beach, please? When the discussion about what Bowser's Castle course should be included in the Booster Course Pass, the most common answer is almost always the GBA version, and it's not too hard to figure out why. For the past three installments, they all have one GBA Bowser Castle track attached to them. It was the case with two MDS, three in Wii, and one in Seven. And hey, they also appeared in Mario Kart Tour, so easy pickings, right? Well, yeah, but there's a big problem that doesn't just apply to the GBA, but for most of the other games as well. The problem itself being that there's just simply better options out there. No one would have minded a Bowser Castle track from the GBA to make an appearance there, but it would be pretty disappointing. Not to mention that these courses don't stand out as much as other tracks like Cheap Cheap Island and Riverside Park. I'm not saying they aren't likely, but their chances are extremely slim. Even with that in mind, I'm still going to prioritize one of them, and I believe that, if possible, we'll see Bowser Castle 4 make its debut here. Why did I choose 4 over the rest? 
Well, that's simply because it's one of the most ambitious Bowser Castle tracks amongst them all, with how hectic the whole track is. It's far more interesting than even 3, and that's my favorite one of the four. I could have gone with Bowser Castle 3, but the remake in Tor says more than enough, even if it'll probably not be carried over, much like Maple Treeway. It'll go below the SNES Bowser Castle tracks though, since it has some very strong competition to compare itself against. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, we haven't gotten a single Double Dash course in the Booster Course Pass yet, but data mines do point towards there being four, and one of them is known, but I won't mention it here. All I have to say is that if you know, you know. The other three are a bit more unanimous, with many people hoping for Daisy Cruiser and Dino Dino Jungle. The former in a similar case with Vanilla Lake, but even so, there's still some tracks that are more unknown, and since SNES and GBA are likely covered, I believe that if those courses are set in stone, then we will be getting GC and Bowser's Castle as our only Bowser Castle track in the Booster Course Pass. And of all of these options, this is the one I'm rooting for the most. The vibes this track gives off is almost to the same level as N64 Bowser's Castle, but without a DMT dreading feeling. Not to mention, it's also more frantic as well, having a dodge swamps, lava bubbles, spinning fireballs, and even a giant statue of Bowser that shoots giant fireballs. It might be a little too similar to Mark 8's version in some areas, but I don't think it's too notable to write it off completely. And if there had to be only one Bowser's Castle in this entire DLC, I really hope it's this one. With how grand that last part of the video is, this one will unfortunately keep things brief and underwhelming. Starting with Mario Kart DS's very own Bowser's Castle, it just isn't that likely to begin with. Not only is it one of the more simple versions of it, but wait for it, we'll have our final DS track for the DLC, and Nintendo would rather include fan favorites over something like DS Bowser's Castle. Even if there's a hidden DS slot hiding amongst the shadows, this course is visually too similar to GC and Bowser's Castle anyways, with its only distinctive obstacle being the cylinder. As much of a Mark DS fan as I am, I couldn't bring myself to say that this one needs to be brought back, especially over courses like Airship Fortress or Luigi's Mansion. The same can unfortunately be said for Wii Bowser's Castle 2, but to an even larger degree. Unlike DS, there's going to be a lot more Wii tracks past Wii 4, but considering the record of fan favorite tracks that we're getting, it seems very unlikely that Bowser's Castle is going to be prioritized over courses like Koopa Cape and DK Summit. It isn't too similar to GC and Bowser's Castle, but at the same time, it borrows elements from it that it might as well coincide. Not saying that this course couldn't happen, but considering the standards that were set from all three waves so far, I doubt Bowser's Castle from the Wii is going to get in the Booster Course Pass. Well, this was an interesting ride it goes through. While I don't think that any of these Bowser Castle tracks will make into the Booster Course Pass in one way or another, I won't lie and say that I had fun observing and analyzing which courses are more likely to come if they do happen to be included. With all that we covered, I think it's time to rank these tracks based on their likelihood, except N64 and 3DS for obvious reasons. Number 5, Diaz Bowser's Castle. It's unremarkable, simple in modern standards, and has one interesting obstacle. Number 4, Wii Bowser's Castle. It's not a bad track, but it has very high competition that makes it difficult to prioritize. Number 3, any of the GBA Bowser Castle tracks. Just like Wii, the GBA Bowser Castle courses also have high competition, but they're more likely in part just because they were in tour. Since there's four, I might as well rank those from least wanted to most. One, two, three, four. Number two, SNES Bowser's Castle. It's surprising that this forgettable version ranked higher, but it's largely because there's no high competition for the SNES tracks. It could still be jeopardized by Vanilla Lake, but I'd imagine this would be the option if Vanilla Lake wasn't included at all. Also ranking these like GBA, we have 1, 3, and 2. And lastly, for number 1, GCN Bowser's Castle. This one I can see make its way towards the Booster Course Pass, with the majority of Double Dash's courses being pretty good. Of course there's the highly requested courses and one data mine to track, but Double Dash is in a spot where the bar isn't as high nowadays. And again, if there was one Bowser's Castle course to pick from, I really do hope it's the GameCube version. With all that said and done, thank you all for watching this video. I've been more curious about the state of the Bowser Castle tracks ever since the DLC was announced, and I figured I could make a video about which ones would be more likely to enter. But I want to know what you think. What Bowser Castle course would you like to see the most, if there ever is one to be added? Let me know in the comments, and as always, remember that Stu cares about you.